Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is another installment of my Sample Saturday series. I have not filmed for a while these so they've been backing up in my makeup bags and I've used up more than I normally do because I actually have been using them for two weeks or three weeks like the one that I just filmed. Um, so I didn't go through as much the second week of this three weeks that I'm filming all at once, but I did go through some. So let's start with those. This first one is a, um, is from Corez. It is the Golden Crocus Ageless Saffron Elixir. It is a serum. It was an okay serum. It left my skin feeling a little tacky, um, a little sticky afterwards. So it's not my favorite, um, serum and I know it's really expensive because saffron is an expensive um, spice or whatever garnish. I don't know what saffron is, I just know it's expensive from all of my 18th century literature. Um, so yeah, and then this is the next one. This is from Bumble and Bumble. It is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, if that will even show up. But just very, very barely. I don't like this. Um, I use I had this vial and I had three hair, um, used it for three times, which is a lot um, for the length of my hair, um, but it leaves my hair really greasy. It's like I dunked my hair in grease because um, the ends were even oily and I didn't use very much of this at all. So I think it's just too much for my hair because I have really healthy hair. I don't heat style it or anything because that just takes too much time and energy um so I wasn't a big fan of that but I think if you have more damaged hair you might really like it or like more coarse hair because I have very fine hair also I really liked this oil though this is from Wella it is this um oil reflections and it has kind of a citrusy scent to it so it smells um, almost like oranges really enjoyed this one um, I would consider and get consider getting this one again and this one I used it took me about twice to use up this one so it's a little thicker oil but not quite as bad as the other one then my perfume sample this is Calvin Klein eternity air I don't it's just barely showing up it's so light it's really hard to show these on screen. Um, this was an okay perfume. It's it's very light, but it wasn't my favorite. I did have another sample of it that I'm going to pass along because I didn't enjoy it enough to use a second vial of it. But I, it's a nice clean um, scent. Moving on to some moisturizers. This first one is the Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid from Youth to the People. I've gotten this before and it's okay. Um, it's not my favorite by any means. And it's such a small sample. I think I used this up in two goes, using it on my neck and chest. Um, it's just okay. It's, it's definitely not something I would purchase. I liked this one a little bit better. This is from Tatcha. This is the Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. This was okay. I'm really picky about moisturizers. I, I liked it enough to use it up and if I had another one, I would use it again. But I don't think I would purchase it because I, I didn't like it that much. Um, and I got kind of bored with it after the second week. After the first week, the second week, I started trying to use it up, using it on my neck and chest, just trying to get rid of it faster. And then my last sample this week was the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. Um, this smells really good. It smells like a dreamsicle. So if you like that vanilla -y orange scent, um, this smells like that. It smells like, I think there are other moisturizer that I've tried. It smells like that too. I, I, I'm not really sure if it really helps mattify you and at all but I do feel like when I put it on like I had to wash my hands and really like work at getting it off my skin because it on my hands because it felt like it left um, 
a residue on it. So I did not enjoy that part of it. So I would not purchase this. And I wonder if that's part of the reason like I have been breaking out like quite a bit lately. I wonder if that added to it or not. Um, anyway, that's my theory. So those were my samples for this week. Let me know what your thoughts were on these. If you have tried any of them, I would love to know. I also want to know if you've tried any samples lately that you have been enjoying. I always like finding new things to try. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time.